Hello everyone, my name is Helena Verissimo. I'm a senior product designer on the release stage here at GitLab. This video is part of the Baselines and Recommendations Initiative OKR for our UX department, and I will be documenting the existing experience, um, friction points, the number of steps and overall workflow for creating and managing a release in GitLab so that I can provide um, a package software, notes, and files for people to use. I have documented um, my job to be done experience here in this issue, and we're going to be walking through uh, a click through video um, illustrating what my experience was. Uh, it's a very lengthy issue with a bunch of screenshots, um, and by the end of this, I'll have to come up with uh, recommendations for uh, how to improve the current experience for the releases feature. Cool, so let's jump into the flow. Um, I'm here on gitlab.org and it's interesting to note that um, the experience can vary um, based on having an existing project or having to create a new one from scratch. Um, I'm already signed in and for the sakes of this uh, walkthrough, um, I have a project set up for this, um, this task. And as a user, I'm somehow familiar with the releases concept um, but I'm not quite familiar with how uh, I'm supposed to do and track releases with um, GitLab. So this will be my first time doing such task. Um, so looking at my project, I'm not quite sure where I have to go. Um, I created a project and my first actual task was to go to Google and search for GitLab release. And I got a few um, results here on the page. What really caught my attention was that um, there's two, three different pages for um, the release documentation, and they have the same title. So when I open them, uh, I can see the difference um, between those two documentation pages. So as a disclosure, um, part of the process is to document all the steps that I took in order to complete uh, my job to be done. So looking at this one page, um, I can see that there's not a lot of information. There's a few screenshots that I immediately see that are very outdated or they don't really reflect the interface I have on GitLab. Um, and it says here that I can create release in three different ways through the interface by creating a new git tag, through the interface by adding a node to an existing git tag, and using the GitLab um, API. I'm going to create it through the interface, so I'm not going to be using the GitLab API for um, releases today. This documentation feels quite incomplete, and there's a link here to this other page um, that yes indeed has more information about what releases are, how to get started with it, etc. Um, it mentions that by to start uh, and create a release, I need to give a description to the release and include its assets as follows. Um, every release has a description. Uh, I can add text, I can add um, assets and that will allow users to quickly scan the differences between each uh, release that I publish. You can see here as well um, the type of source code, uh, how uh, the files and the, the release assets are going to be um, displayed. Um, you can add links and can see the release in the list. So yeah. At a glance, this documentation seems pretty high level, but it shouldn't be very difficult to create a release. Um, but I can see that there's two different pages for this, and I wonder why not, um, instead of having two release pages, one for workflow and the other one for um, the actual um, process, why not com combine them in, in a single thing? All right. Um, I'll get started. I'm gonna go back to my project, close those tabs. Uh, I don't need them anymore. 
check the documentation and um, yeah it's clear here that there is a release option and menu and when I click on it I see an empty state because it makes sense I don't have any new or I don't have any releases created yet um, explains here what releases are and yeah currently releases can only be created through the API hmm well what I remember that the documentation says something about being able to add um, a comment or description to a tag and that will create a release um, why, why not let me do that directly from here anyways let me go and check the documentation maybe I missed out on something and yeah I find it very odd that there is this um, complete different interface for the documentation this is just three different ways to see what pretty much is the same content so it, I'm a bit mood confused with the change of context here um, at the moment you can create release entries via the releases API we recommend this as one of the last steps in your CI CD pipeline release okay right I'm gonna create a git tag and then see what I can do from there I cannot really create anything from this page and I feel like I should be able to go to the releases page and create a release so that's a bit frustrating all right so tags right where are the tags here uh, oh yeah there you go all right I don't have any tags so empty state uh, yeah again some differences in the UI before I had a very cute I'm gonna go back and show the difference um, yeah very elaborate empty state with an icon yeah style and everything in here the interface seems a bit funky it just feels unfinished um, but yeah I don't have any releases or any tags in this case and use git tags command to add a new one um, I don't want to do that I don't want to do this via the API I want to use the UI so um, I'm gonna create a new tag here this button seems pretty obvious and I'm gonna give my tag name um, let's call it um, 1.0 that that's kind of obvious it's my first tag uh, and I'm gonna see okay this is my first tag and release notes all right so that's what documentation um, mention that I can add notes at release notes to the tag they will be stored in the GitLab database and display on the tags page um, what does that mean that I'm going to create a release or am I creating a tag let's see what happens um, so let's say this is my release note um, comment for my new tag my new tag and I also want to to add some assets here I want to be able um, to show users that cool I'm working in GitLab and I want to add a GitLab asset um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the GitLab logo here I have on my computer and I can already have a preview of how it's going to look like that's cool um, let me add some notes so let's see uh, what's new and I'm gonna just add a few points here I'm creating my first release um, I am um, following GitLab's documentation and um, yeah I'm gonna link this to this documentation just to see how it's going to look like with some formatting and everything um, let me review my markdown cool and I'm gonna say added uh, index index.html to my project All right format this right and uh, that's it I'm gonna create my new tab 
that apparently is going to also create a release. Let's see what happens. Um, all right, I am in what seems to be a detail or a view of my tag. Oh, this page looks really, <laughs> it looks really messy. Um, it feels like the layout is broken. I, is this a text area? What is this? Um, yeah, it just feels messy. It just feels like this could have the interface polished. Um, and yeah, it makes sense that I created my tag and now I'm here in the tag detail, but there's not really a mention to a release or our notes to this. Um, I would like to have the ability to see my release or see my release tag somehow, or at least know that, you know, have an indication that, okay, cool, I added something special to this specific tag. Um, here I can click and download the source code, zip or etc. Um, it can browse commits, the files, and edit release notes. Let me quickly go here. Yeah, nothing really special. And on the edit page, I'm editing release notes for tag 1.0. Hmm. Okay, so the notes are the release. Okay, okay. Let me just quickly browse my files. Everything seems fine. Going back here, browse my commits. Uh, yeah, everything seems fine. I don't want to delete this, but I just want to see how else I'm going to to visualize this thing in a different page. Um, yeah, all right. Since at this point I don't see any reference to a release per se, I'm going back to my project and I'm gonna check the releases. Look, huh, now my release tag or something is here. Um, it's, there's something odd about this page. I mean, I clearly cannot create a release from this view, um, but I also, also cannot manage the the tag or the release tag you can download source code in different formats you can see everything added to it but all oh, right yeah so I mean, this needs to be fixed this is the layout that the it's broken so the page um has this horizontal scroll that is not really really nice um yeah what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download my assets just to make sure that, okay, I'm allowing my users um, to have access to these files. And yeah, it has the name of my repository. And I can see here as well that it has the tag number added to it. That's super cool. Um, let's see, yeah, my files are here my readme and my index html all right that works you can see that it was released by myself um that's me my avatar um and yeah i'm quite not sure about this this view per se it feels very incomplete it feels like that the page um, is missing a lot of the details i would like to be able to manage my my release from here i would like to be able to edit this tag and um, I would love this page to be um, to be fixed. Um, what else can I do from here? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Let me go back to my project. Okay. Um, yeah. Nothing really changed from my project view. Um, because I'm familiar with um, the release workflow from, um, for example, GitHub, I, I kind of want to find a mention of my release or my tags here in this view. I mean, oh yes, see here, there's a tag, one tag, but I also created one release, right? Or not? Um, that's not super clear from here. 
and I click in, clicking on this one tag and I see yes the detail view of my tag yeah I'm a bit frustrated I cannot just jump into the releases from the project main view, but yes, I understand that this view um, is the same, it's very similar, but still, it doesn't show me a release, it doesn't really allow me um, to grab and to grasp the, what a release is for my project. Click here again, it's the same view, but broken. Um, I feel like this whole time I was playing with tags, and I understand that from the documentation that at GitLab, I cannot create releases per se, I can add a release um, note to a tag, but I would like to have everything in one single place, or at least I would like to see some mentions of, um, you know, I'm creating a tag here, or I'm creating a release, and this will show up on my tags page. Um, the whole experience to me, it feels very um, incomplete, and I'm somehow frustrated that I wasn't able to navigate from one place to another and in a seamless way. I'm also a bit frustrated that the page layout is broken for tags and releases. Um, it feels very funky and um, I'm, I'm not happy that the page does not support full screen images. Um, I think that for feedback, um, like for communication for the feedback design, it's unclear labeling of tags and releases. Um, the unclear labeling, I'm sorry, um, makes it difficult to distinct the functionalities, although they are tightly related. Um, there is not a lot of clarity about them. And the project overview here display only tags and not releases. They live in different options in the menu. I can see that, but they are tightly related. And I will be happy to be able to um, see them living together. That's about it. Um, that was a very short uh, walkthrough, very short experience baseline um, because the functionality is not fully done yet. Um, I will link to um, the description of this video. Uh, my job to be done issue as well as um, the epic for release that contains as well the um, job to be done for pages so you can have a look at our final deliverables thank you very much